And welcome back to Fred Jackson's show. And we have Fred Jackson, C.J. Spiller, Philip Tanner, Frank Summers, and Booby Dixon. And, uh, and the only one uh, not here is Bryce, and Bryce has some uh, issues he's taking care of at home, so otherwise we've got ever, all the other running backs. And we've got, whether you play or don't play, it's a huge game against the Kansas City Chiefs who looked awful good against the Jets, and Miami Dolphins looked even better than they did against San Diego. So this next 10 days is going to make or break, could make or break this season. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough for us, um, but we're confident. You know, we, we have the tools that we – need to, to succeed in the game. So nothing's ever going to come easy in this league. And, uh, you know, this next 10 days is, is true to that. So uh, we know we, we have to go and play two, you know, really good teams. Uh, one of them comes to us, and then we travel to Miami. But all we have to do is focus on us. You know, we can't win both games at once. So uh, we have to focus for Kansas City. You know, that's what guys are doing now. And uh, as long as we keep that up, we'll be okay. Okay. Now it's your show, so you can ask your guests whatever you'd like. All right, Booby. Um, you know, what are some of the things you're looking to try and do when we play Kansas City? Um, just, you know, go out there and attack and, uh, and be consistent. You know, uh, finish every play and get the W. It's plain and simple. You know, I like it. If that's what it takes, then we'll get the job done. Um, Frank. My man, straight from Vegas. Um, it, with all of us having different running styles, does that make it make it difficult for you to block for each one of us? No, it actually makes it more exciting. I mean, uh, you know, you and Booby, Booby being more of a downhill runner, uh, you being as shifty as you are, and CJ being fast and elusive, uh, it's 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 a great you know position for me to be in because I you know always say that you know I have two Pro Bowl guys behind me uh, now Booby being here. Uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to have you all running behind me. It really makes my job easier. Future Pro Bowl. There you go. There you go. There you go. And that's what he do. For, for, for everybody that doesn't know, Booby might be the most confident person I've ever been around. You know yeah. what I love him for? It, you yeah, know? man. We, we, we plan to make it so hot around here, it ain't going to snow this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going we gonna to turn it up. <laughs> that would be hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in Buffalo, I tell you. Yeah. Okay, guys, team captain, the oldest running back in the NFL. Ooh. Somebody Ooh. told me that. I'm not sure who. Yeah. And if you play Sunday, it'll be your 100th game in the NFL. So I know that's that's big incentive for you to play. Mm -hmm. Booby, start with you and pass that What's it like playing with Fred Jackson? Oh, man, you know, uh, I feel like he's a great warrior. You know, uh, he's a tempo setter, you know. Like you say, he the old man, so, you know, he's spitting wisdom at the same time. You know, it's just it's a great learning experience, and it's always cool to go in and war with somebody like that. You know, last week was the first time I uh, took the field without him, and I, you know, kind of felt not only weird but naked without having him out there. You know, he's been such a, uh, you know, vocal leader and uh, helping this team, you know, accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. And, you know, it's, it's really great having him out there. To echo what they said, it's it's a great experience, you know, like on the field coach. You know, you're actually out there with a guy that, like I said, been around 15, 20 years, you know, so it's a good experience, you know, being around with an old head like that, Dang. man. Just, you know, getting experience from him. <laughs> nah, uh, it's been great, you know, uh, ever since day one, he's really been a pro's pro uh, to me and helping me develop. I almost feel like we got a marriage because uh, the last time we both went down the same game, and then this year, we both went down the same game. So it was like a marriage with me and Fred. So he stuck with me for life. But uh, he, he's really been like a big brother. You know, like, like the guy said, he's a vocal leader. He's pretty much the, the leader of our team. And, you know, he's really, really, you can really say he's the face of this franchise because of the way him and himself both on and off the field. Wow, that's great. High praise for the captain, Fred Jackson. I like how you clap for yourself, Fred. Like All right, let's go to Brad wow. Galbert with because I know there's questions out there on Twitter. What do you got, Brad? Yep, uh, the first one is for Fred, and it's from Brian. He wants to know, Fred, can you describe what it was like to be at Lauren Hill's basketball game, and what was the reaction when she scored her first basket? Uh, it was a tremendous atmosphere. You know, something that I was extremely excited to be there and witness firsthand. She put in so much work to get there. And, uh, to, to see her fulfill her dream and play in the collegiate game and uh, watch her score, score the first points was something that was 
you know, breathtaking. So I was extremely excited to be there. You know, the, the atmosphere was electric. Everybody, you know, from the opposing team to, you know, every fan in the, the, the audience clapped and was extremely excited for her and, and seeing her accomplish her goal. All right, the next one is for uh, Booby, and it's from Clarissa. She wants to know, uh, clearly you don't root for injuries, but uh, were you excited about the chance to be featured more with Fred and CJ out? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, first of all, I'm always excited every day. And uh, second of all, uh, Fred, I'm going to need one of them microphones you got. <laughs> I come, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm, I'm just excited to be doing what I love, you know. Uh, playing football, you know, it's a kid's game, you know. feel like I'm one big kid, you know, just loving what I do, man. And, you know, I'm trying to put on for Fred and CJ, you know. They've been helping me get, you know, used to the offense and get comfortable being here. So, you know, I feel like I got to do it for them. All right, and uh, this one is for, from Brian. It's for all of you guys. He wants to know, since uh, Buffalo's a chicken wing town, which of you could eat the most chicken wings in one sitting? I'm going to give it to the eater. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, that goes to Frank Summers. He is, see his cheeks? I mean, it's, they're, we they're had constantly full earlier. of food. So. Frank the Tank Summers. Yeah. Frank the Tank. Man. There's, without a doubt. Unfortunately, every time I'm eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner, one of these guys are around, and I'm always pressed for time. So I'm trying to hurry up and, you know, <laughs> hurry up and eat. And these guys are giving me a hard time about why my cheeks are always stuffed with food. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with DJ Dave Jixter right after this on the Fred Jackson Show. <laughs> 